the end of the week and everything's looking pretty similar to how it did over the past few days. We've got our little uh, spider friend here on our LAX camera. They like to hang out on this one. Uh, always a good indicator, though, of the traffic that we are the uh, conditions that we see out there from this camera and the low visibilities. Uh, the spider is definitely a little distracting. LAX right now. All right, it's cool and cloudy. It's 60 degrees. We have that low cloud deck for all the coastal spots and then down into the Long Beach area as well, where we do have some dense fog. It's down to about a quarter mile visibility or Make less sure in some spots. So be subscribe. safe driving. That dense fog advisory is in place for a lot of the coastline, but then it's even inland too for some spots of the LA basin. Now we're not seeing a whole lot of fog here as we look live from Burbank, but you can tell it's a little overcast. The sun's trying to peek through at about 61 degrees. Degrees, it's cool. So this dense fog advisory is in place for the entire coastline, but also some of the inland spots until about 9 a.m. this morning. That's encompassing areas like downtown L.A. into some spots of West Hollywood, down into Cerritos, Lakewood, and so some other inland spots as well. So you might get a little fog out there this uh, morning. Make sure you leave early and uh, drive safely. All right, we have a lot of fall-like conditions in the forecast, maybe even some light rain. More on that in just a bit, Mark. I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Place for just about a little while longer until 9 a.m. this morning. And that's for our coastline, but it's also extended inland uh, to some of the valleys into the L.A. Basin, as well as some spots of even West Hollywood and then down toward uh, Lakewood Cerritos hey, area, too. Sure so to we have some low like, visibilities subscribe. out there. We have about a quarter mile or less for some spots, and it's definitely more dense for areas like Long Beach near LAX and some spots like that near the coastline. Now, temperatures to start, they're, of course, cool, upper 50 50s to low 60s, but we have a couple spots in the 50s, 55 degrees in Ojai, 55 in Hemet, and now we're back to freezing again for Big Bear. It's about 32 degrees, and we're going to start to see more nights in the 30s for the mountains, so we are cooling off. In the atmosphere right now, we do have high pressure out to the east of us, Anona and New Mexico, and then we have this low pressure that's off the coast. Now, what's going to happen over the weekend is this low is going to begin to track to the east, and it's now moving a little further north. It should be just moving over the southern portion of the Oregon border, and then into early next week, it's going to begin to drop down through Nevada. Now, once that happens, we're also going to have a second system, which that's the more impressive, but I just want to show you where this low goes. Now, as we head into the day today, ahead of it, we have this trough that's extending from that low, and that's going to bring us some cloud coverage. It continues to move. It's going to bring us a little rain to NorCal, and then it moves through Nevada Sunday into Monday. Then we're looking ahead to this next system. I showed it to you yesterday, and and it's bringing us some rain into areas of Northern California as we head into midweek next week. And then we also see a little activity here. Now, it's going to dry out as it gets closer to SoCal, but we might see a little something between Wednesday and Thursday next week. And then long-range models. Weekend, some 70s. And then next week, we're going to drop it down to some upper 60s Wednesday and then Thursday. Look at the highs Wednesday, Thursday, 64 Wednesday, 59 degrees on Thursday, several nights where we're expecting below freezing, 80s by tomorrow, and then we even have some 70s there next week as well, Mark.